was it started out uh, with a visit to the uh, hospital as it was back before we got involved and uh, and it was uh, fine it was a teaching uh, hospital and I, I must say that I was put off a little because I didn't uh, feel that the standards were quite as high as they should be and, and uh, for my being what I am I mentioned that to the people and I said well, I think we can do a lot better here in Orlando than we're doing and that started it it's very gratifying to me to see the other people uh, that are making these tremendous contributions and what we can do to make life easier for a lot of people who otherwise would not have that good fortune. Hi everyone, I'm Amy Palmer Saunders and I want to welcome you to our Arnie's Challenge celebration. My dad's words of gratitude for the remarkable devotion so many have for children facing challenges is so true today. We admire these amazing children and those who support them. As the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard begins, much has changed. Still, we wanted to continue our tradition of joining together in celebration and support for children fighting pediatric cancer. Though we are celebrating Arnie's challenge separately today, it is truly wonderful to know how many people have participated and are watching. The Arnold and Winnie Palmer Foundation carries on the work to which my mom and dad, supported by Arnie's Army, devoted so much of their lives. In their example, we continue to work to ensure that every child has the opportunity to live a life well played. Though our foundation has three focus points, nature-focused wellness and youth character development, Arnie's Challenge has focused on our third pillar, serving as champions for children's health. Arnie's Challenge honors young cancer fighters and raises funds for the remarkable Haley Center for Children's Cancer and Blood Disorders at Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children, part of Orlando Health. Thank you for being part of Arnie's Challenge. Whether you've walked your block, golfed a record number of holes, or enjoyed a sprinter marathon, we are grateful. Whether you're here in Orlando, in Pennsylvania, or Saipan, we're glad you're here. And now I want to turn things over to our guides for this afternoon's webcast, my son, professional golfer Sam Saunders, and my friend and veteran broadcaster and a member of our Arnold Palmer ambassador team, Kelly Tillman. Sam and Kelly, I'll turn it over to you now. Amy, thank you so much. It is such a pleasure to be with you and, of course, your beloved son, Sam, a, a longtime friend of mine and, of course, the grandson of the great Arnold Palmer. Welcome to the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. This is a huge week. Sam, everybody watching right now with us at home is excited about what's ahead and also what we're going to be doing for these children who battle cancer and their families. Uh, much more on that to come. But first, let's just start by talking about what a special week this is on the calendar for you. Absolutely. It's, I'm great. I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm sorry you're not here, but we're all adapting to different times right now. And we're just so pleased to be able to have another great Arnold Palmer Invitational. Uh, I know my grandfather would be proud of the efforts that are continuing to be made, not just here at the tournament, but to support the foundation and uh, all the wonderful children that we're able to help. Well, we have an outstanding field. You'll love watching them right along with us, uh, Sam, too. Uh, we have a wonderful gallery. They are limited because of these COVID restrictions we've been living with for far too long, but they're very important. However, they will be very enthusiastic, and uh, especially, especially the kids in the gallery. We love seeing the children. Absolutely. It's been so great. The last eight years here, we've been able to do Arnie's March and have so many kids come out and be a part of this great event. And although we won't be able to do that in person this year, we've still got a great new way to continue to support uh, the foundation. It's so special spending that day at Arnie's March with these children each and every, every year. I know you and I have done a lot of work uh, on that special day in the past, and it's a little different this year, even with a new name, Arnie's Challenge. That's right. Uh, everybody can get out. You guys can go run, walk, play golf, and uh, all, all of that is going to continue to support the Arnold Winnie Palmer Foundation and specifically the Haley Center for uh, Pediatric Cancer. And it's something that is just so near, near and dear to all of our hearts as we've gotten to see 
uh, so many great kids who have, have fought incredible battles over these past eight years. Yeah, and one of the most important people you could ever meet, especially if you're one of these children or, or a member of these children's families, is a fantastic lady named Dr. Amy Smith. She is a global leader in pediatric neuro-oncology. And just a little while ago, I had a chance to talk to her about what we've achieved in the past with then Arnie's March, what we're looking to do with Arnie's Challenge, and where it goes from here. Dr. Smith, it's so great to be with you. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Uh, as you know, uh, the people at home are, are watching and wondering uh, what we're doing here, what kind of difference we're making, and no one knows that better than you. You're in the mm -hmm. middle of this whole story. Uh, can you just kind of catch us up on your experience at the Haley Center and with the children and, and Arnie's March and what it's done? Absolutely. So the Haley Center um, for Children and Cancer, Cancer and Blood Disorders at Arnold Palmer Hospital consists of a fairly um, significantly sized team of people. We have nine physicians, nine nurse practitioners, and a number of, of course, nurses and other staff. The, um, we see about 120 newly diagnosed children with cancer every year that come through our center. And we see also about 40 children with relapse disease every year. And the, the Arnie's March started about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was started by these two mothers whose children were affected by cancer and they just really wanted to do something uh, to make a difference. And they went to Mr. Palmer and asked if he would lend them his name and if they could do something associated with the API. Mm -hmm. And he, of course, generously said, of, of course, course you can do did. that. Yeah. <laughs> of course you can do that. Yeah. And so that's when it started. And so every year since then, on the Tuesday of, uh, of the tournament, mm -hmm. there's been an afternoon where children and families and supporters have all come together. Many of the golfers have come out and we've raised money essentially for pediatric cancer research. And it's really been research that we are doing at the Haley Center. Mm -hmm. Most of that work that we do is really in collaboration with many other centers around the world, which is really how pediatric cancer research um, does its best work. Yeah, that, that, that's a great point that you make. Uh, you know, the word global comes to mind. You mm -hmm. said around the world. Uh, I'm not sure if people really understand. Sure, it, you know, these things are about monies raised, and, and we're into seven figures now, which is just a remarkable mm -hmm. accomplishment in eight years, well over a million dollars. But, you know, the Haley Center, and this, this Orlando area in particular, mm -hmm. is so important to this mission. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. So, like you said, in Central Florida, um, we're the largest pediatric cancer center mm -hmm. um, that exists and so we do take care of a lot of children that live in this area but we also take care of children who come from all over Florida or even different places in the United States. We are part of a couple of what we would call early phase clinical trials consortia mm -hmm. and so we do have clinical trials that are maybe not available everywhere um, and so if your child has a tumor that there is no treatment for we may have something unique to offer, and so sometimes families will travel. But the thing I was mentioning earlier in that pediatric oncology is really a beautiful picture of what it means to really for people to work together. Mm -hmm. And so for our newly diagnosed children, if you walk into our hospital versus some maybe walking into a hospital in Seattle or New York uh, or Cincinnati, your child can be offered the same care and we because we can actually work together mm -hmm. and pull that information and it's really how we've told the story of curing leukemia and not that everybody is cured by any means but um, you know 50 years ago less than 10 percent of children were cured and now over 90 percent are cured gosh that sounds good and it's been done through that incredible work together um, and so now our mission is really what how can we cure that extra those those children who really don't have any opportunity to be cured. And unfortunately, there still are some tumors that are really not curable mm. um, or have very low cure rates. And that's where this money that is raised to support the Haley Center uh, Cancer Research really funds our ability to run those clinical trials that offer children a new, a new hope and a new opportunity. It's putting people on your staff, this money, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So actually, the funds support the vast majority of our clinical research staff, which we really would have no other way to fund. And so it's critically, critically important. Yeah, there's, there's a bell uh, mm -hmm. that you want to hear 
being wrung by these children, isn't mm -hmm. there? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. At the end of uh, at the end of every child's treatment, we have a celebration, and the families come around and all of the staff because we really do become like a family. Mm -hmm. I mean, we really um, embrace everything about the children and their families and so we have this party we have cake and we sing and the kids get to go up and ring this bell um, signifying their completion and their huge achievement of getting through treatment thanks to your hard work uh, your contributions and obviously your passion uh, that's happening a lot more often these days mm -hmm. uh, Thank you so much for spending some time with us, uh, Dr. Smith, Dr. Amy Smith, uh, one of the global specialists in uh, neuro-oncology, pediatric neuro-oncology, uh, no less. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you want to hear that bell being rung. That's the goal, and I think it uh, might be best exemplified with young Elena's story. You having fun, Ladybug? Pull that mask up over your nose. journey start? That's, that's a really good question. Well, my husband had started noticing like bruising in weird places and um, we'd actually gone to Disney and and she bumped into a wall and like immediately within 30 seconds her whole head just went black and blue and uh, I kind of thought to myself, okay, like that's not a good thing. Finding out that Lainey had leukemia was probably one of the most, if not the most devastating day of my life. And what we relied on was places like Arnold and Palmer Hospital to help us know what the next treatment plan was, to help us know kind of in advance what we could be expecting next. One thing that I know for sure is that we were meant to be at Arnold Palmer. Um, we were placed with Dr. Sutphin and I just, I love him so much. I can't imagine this journey without him, to be quite honest. He's really great about talking to me like I was a nurse and talking to my husband like he's a husband. He just made our journey just so much better. Cancer changes a family. The moments that used to be just routine, now you're thankful for. We would spend over 150 days at Arnold Palmer. Um, and you have to take steroids the first 28 days solid. If you imagine a man on anabolic steroids, take that and put that in a two or three year old's little body. It is not a short distance race. Most kids don't like to be poked, don't want to be at the hospital, and as soon as she thinks she doesn't feel good, the first thing she says, I need to go to the doctor. And it's just so strange to hear that, but so comforting to know that Arnold Palmer Hospital has created an atmosphere that could make our daughter feel comfortable there. I'm excited because there's organizations and research that's being developed right now that will completely change the face of leukemia and leukemia treatment. I really believe that we're going to find not only a cure, but one that is manageable and that doesn't destroy life or along the way. When we were looking at the bell, which signifies our last chemo treatment in the hospital, and then when it's finally there, it almost doesn't feel like it's real. Whew, that was an amazing moment, and I'm not much of a crier, <laughs> but it was hard to hold back the tears because it really was like, this is the end of the journey, and I was surrounded with people that we loved, um, these nurses and doctors that are our family now, and them just being there with us through everything, and then being there as a victory when we won, you know. It was something I will never forget. Wow, that is really an incredibly powerful story and, and just so great to see Elena get her victory over such an incredible battle and, and really just makes you proud to see the support that she was able to receive from the hospital here at Arnold Palmer Hospital. Um, you know, so many incredible stories over the years and some sad stories, unfortunately, but um, you know, it's, it's something that's so powerful and 
it's something that we all need to remember. Yeah, we should remember all these children and their families. Uh, and one child in particular that comes to mind is 22-month-old uh, Mia Bijegas, uh, the daughter of Camillo and Maria Bijegas. Camillo, of course, a multiple winner on the PGA Tour. He's going to be playing here at the Arnold Palmer Invitational this week in honor of his daughter, who uh, sadly, uh, not too long ago, succumbed to brain and spinal tumors. Uh, she was treated at Nicholas Children's Hospital. Uh, they are all a part of our family and we remember all of the children who've been lost to this terrible disease and with that let's take a moment of silence. All right, Kelly, earlier today, a very special Haley Center patient named Rachel received a special box with three color-coded envelopes. Yellow, red, and green. Very That's familiar right. colors. Let's check in with Rachel. There she is. Rachel, hi. Joining us via Zoom. How, how are, are you? you? Good. good. How are you guys? Good. Great to see you. Uh, just 17 years old. I hear you're quite the dancer, and your dance team finds creative ways to raise money each year. Uh, tell us about your experiences. So... Last year, well, the past couple of years, we've gone to the Army March Walk, the Army March Walk, and we, sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that, but we did the walk there, and we raised a lot of money, and um, my dance, my whole dance team came the first two years, and then um, this year, we are doing a walk around um, the area of our dance studio to raise more money to donate to the Cancer Foundation. So. That's, that's, that's awesome, Rachel. Well, can you tell us what it says on the front of the yellow envelope? Oh, this is exciting. Yes. Okay. Box. That's a nice big box. I hope there's some big surprises yeah. inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, it says, for their armies challenge, did you, did more people walk, run, or play golf? Mm. So, Ooh, that's a tough one. I don't know. What would you do? I, I mean, it is Arnie's challenge, so I would just have to assume that everyone played golf, but I don't know. you got to tell us. I think I would do all three. How many people? Well, okay, the answer in here. For their Arnie's challenge, at least 50% of all participants chose to walk. Okay. Golf and running were not as popular, maybe next year. Oh. Well, listen, I always enjoyed the walk for yeah. Arnie's March. And it, it's an easy walk. It's you know, roughly around a mile or whatever you want to make That's it. That's right. That's great. All right. So next envelope? Yeah. Let's, I mean, let's see Let's see what's in the uh, the red envelope The red. Now. Okay. You're up, Rachel. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo. How many people so far have participated in the 2021 Arnie's Challenge? Ooh, first year? I mean, I don't know. We had so many people come out for the march the last eight years, and it's been incredible. I feel like it just got bigger every year, but yeah. I, I don't know. We'll have to see what, you know. More than 250 people have participated in the 2021 Arnie's Challenge. But that's so far. So it's far. It's going to be much higher than so that. Far. So far. So far. And I know that, I mean, at each year at the tournament that we've seen in years past, we've had many hundreds of people oh, turn out. Oh, yeah. Many, and that's absolutely. just on site, which absolutely. is great. Absolutely. Very okay, good. So, well, so this is the exciting envelope. This is envelope. it, the exciting envelope here. Let's, let's see what's in the green one, Rachel. The green one. Th this is where the money's at, right? Yes, yes. It's important to note that, you know, we're, we're not done raising money yet. No, no, that's right. People can still get out, run, walk, or golf. And the Dr. Phillips Foundation will contribute $100 for each one of you. They will match your donation. So it's just incredible. So keep getting out there, running, walking, or golfing, whatever you can. Yeah, we're going way over 250. We're getting up into four figures. So last envelope. How much so far has Arnie's Challenge raised for the Haley Center at Arnold Palmer Hospital, part of Orlando Health? 
I don't, I mean, I'm not going to guess again. I can't. I can't. Yeah. We're, we're just going to we're going to lose here. So please let us know. I do remember numbers from years past. Yeah. Very impressive. At Arnold Palmer Hospital, part of Orlando Health, Arnie Challenge has raised $100,523. That's, that's brilliant. That's incredible. That is, that's just amazing. That is incredible. Wow. That, that is great news. So excited to see how much more we can raise. Yeah, and that, again, it is ongoing. So for those of you at home that are with us, uh, you can still play your part, get your friends to play a part, yeah. uh, grab the kids, grab the family members, the neighborhood friends, and go walk, run, or golf, or like like Sam, just golf, or like me, do all three. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rachel, this has been wonderful. I want to remind everybody, too, that the, the way that you can participate and learn more about how you can contribute is palmerfoundation.org backslash or back, backslash, uh, you can swim You're if you to want swim. to. Yeah, why not throw a if swim? If you want to swim, uh, <laughs> backslash foundation or challenge, challenge. Yeah. Uh, two tickets to the, to the Arnold Palmer Invitational. If, donate in the next if, if you hours. donate in the next 24 hours, that's it. Two tickets to the Arnold Palmer Invitational. All right, Palmer and they're limited Foundation. This year, folks, so, I mean, get on it. Well, it's a giveaway. It's, it's a, a giveaway. It's a giveaway. It's a total giveaway. Make well, it happen. What's better than that? Okay, <laughs> one more time palmerfoundation.org backslash challenge. So go and take advantage of all of these benefits and do your part. Rachel, you were Thank wonderful. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for having me. It was really nice to talk to you guys. She is so adorable, and I love her passion and enthusiasm. Hopefully she's inspired a lot more kids and adults and neighborhood buddies to get out and, and dream big and raise a bunch of money. It's, it's all about the dream, isn't it? And, and no one knew that better than your grandfather. Absolutely. I mean, he certainly dreamed big and, and you know, has such a positive outlook on life. And I know we're all looking to a brighter future right now. So. You know, I know he just encouraged us all to, to keep moving forward and, and continue to make him proud by doing things like this. It's just incredible. Yeah, it's been great spending this time with you. Uh, so happy that you were with us, and, and hopefully you either have, have had a walk or you're going to take a walk or play golf or run, whatever you choose to do to raise money for Arnie's Challenge. Uh, one guy who would do anything to help raise a charitable dollar because his heart is in the right place and so is his voice <laughs> is a guy named Javier Colon. You might remember him, the winner of the season premiere of NBC's The Voice back in the day. This guy loves golf, and he is so genuinely nice, isn't he? He's, he is, and he's the perfect example of dreams coming true. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I played golf with him right after he had won the first American Idol back in 2010, I believe, and we've been friends since then. I mean, his the continued... Voice. But the he voice. is an American so Idol, too, yeah, you know. Yeah, he is, he is. <laughs> but, you know, just, just his continued commitment to, to golf and, and continued commitment to, to what we're trying to do here. He's just, he's a great friend of the game and a great friend of mine as well. It was your grandfather who was the American Idol. <laughs> That's right. I do remember that. The icon, the idol, Arnold Palmer. Uh, you're right, it is about dreaming big, and I can't think of anyone better to close out this show as we head into the evening hours with you and that is the great Javier Colon. Enjoy. Uh, Javier, it's great to have you with us. Hello, everyone. I, uh, I'm so excited to be here with you all tonight. Sam and Kelly, great to see you. Uh, you know, when I heard of Arnie's challenge and all of the folks that were supporting these remarkable kids uh, being cared for at the Haley Center at Arnold Palmer Hospital, uh, I knew that I had to be a part of this amazing uh, evening. So thank you so much for having me. Um, I'd like to thank the Arnold and Winnie Palmer Foundation, uh, the caregivers at the Arnold Palmer Hospital, part of Orlando Health, all of the donors, the, the sponsors, and of course, especially these amazing children and their families. Now, we'll be together next year, but until then, I'd like to send you my very best regards and well wishes as you face your challenge, be it Arnie's challenge or an even bigger one and follow your dreams because I know that you can do it. This song is a song, when I think of this song, I think of uh, all of the folks at the Arnold Palmer Hospital that no matter what you come to them with, they will be there for you time after time after time. So this song is for you. Circles, confusion is the 
Thank you all so much. Take care. We'll see you soon.